When I think of being that girl, I ultimately think of living your best life. Eating healthy, building a good routine, being productive, and just overall being the best version of yourself day in and day out. Do I work out every single day? No. Do I drink lemon water in replace of coffee in the morning? Heck no. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I realistically implement healthy habits in my day to become that girl. I feel like the biggest part of the that girl trend is establishing a really good morning routine. I like to wake up early enough to have a slow morning because honestly I am not a morning person at all. Um, but I also want my mornings to be productive and not super lazy all the time. And I also want to get my body moving whether that's just working out or doing a quick Pilates workout. So um, here is my that girl morning routine. Hey Google. Good morning. Hi there. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is currently early in the morning. I really like to have slower mornings because I am definitely not a morning person. And like I've said in previous videos, I try my best to wake up earlier and get the most out of my day. And I feel like that's what the that girl mindset that girl routine is. It's just all about the morning routines. I give myself about half an hour to go on my phone, um, preferably Pinterest because it's not so like in your face like Instagram is. Sometimes I'm feeling like working out first thing in the morning which is what I strive for and I won't do my skincare routine until after my workout since I'm like a little sweaty and then if I decide to do my workout later on in the day I'll just do my morning skincare but today we're gonna be working out early so I'm gonna get up, brush my teeth, have some coffee, and then get on with my morning. just got dressed to do my workout typically I wear like an oversized sweatshirt and then like if I'm getting sweaty mid workout I'll like roll it up and like tuck it under my uh, sports bra but it is a little warmer out this morning like this whole week is gonna be super nice so I wore an oversized t-shirt instead so I'll do the same trick if I'm feeling a little sweaty and then I like to wear biker shorts and then I have tennis shoes downstairs. Of course I have my AirPods with me and then I like to figure out what workout to do on my Pinterest account. So I have a whole board on Pinterest just of like simple um, workouts with like arms, core. I'm kind of feeling like a good Pilates workout and then I'll link down in the description below my Pilates workout that I'm doing today. I do that on YouTube. I have a small like watch later list of Pilates workouts because I like to do that with someone else like talking and guiding it rather than like a normal workout. I would rather just go on my own pace. And I have been pretty new to Pilates. I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I work out in my garage and it's not the cleanest right now, like not the cleanest background. So I'll try to get some good shots, but if you guys are interested in like the workouts and stuff I do, I will link those in the description below and you can follow those on there. But I'm gonna get my workout and I'm gonna have my breakfast and then um, we're gonna get ready for the day. So let's just get started. Also, if you don't really work out that much but you want to move your body, get on the treadmill and do 12, 330. Um, I used to do that when I was starting to get in the groove of working out again. Um, it's basically an incline of 12 at a speed of three for 30 minutes. It basically feels like you're walking uphill for half an hour. It's a really good workout to do if I just wanna get my body moving and I have a lot of YouTube videos I need to catch up on because I will literally just walk and watch YouTube. So I know that is a very that girl workout. So I highly recommend that. But right now I'm gonna do some Pilates. Guys, I am not the greatest at Pilates. I literally tumble and fall. So hopefully the time lapse makes it look more like 
better than it actually is. Okay, y'all, we are fresh out of the shower. I just did a body shower this morning, so I have my hair up in a bun. But I'm going to start getting ready for my day. So typically, if I'm just gonna be at home working all day, I won't really wear makeup. But because I'm going out later today and I'm filming this video, I'm gonna put on some makeup. So if you want to see my full everyday makeup routine, I will put a card up here so you guys can check that out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I also need to do my skincare. So I'm going to show you guys my morning skincare routine. If you guys want a full skincare routine morning and night, let me know down in the comments below. But um, my morning skincare is pretty simple. I won't go too in depth, but um, I have been loving the Good Molecules brand. I saw it on an Instagram ad and I bought a ton of products from them and this is one of my favorites to use. Niacinamide? I think that's how you say it. Niacinamide. Probably saying that wrong. Brightening toner. Um, this is like a really good gentle toner. It helps brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. So I'm just gonna put some on like a little cotton rad and put that all over my face. And I absolutely love their serums, but I like to use that in the nighttime. So for now, I use the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Power Peptide Resurfacing Serum. This makes my skin super moisturized and glowy. I just need one pump. I put it all over my face, but I definitely notice like a glowier boost to my skin. Peptides are really good to consume and to put on your face and all that stuff, especially in the morning. Um, and I guess it also helps with like aging as well. I could be totally wrong on that, but um, it's very gentle on the face and I like to use gentle skincare products. And then I go in with the Good Molecules um, Wake Up Eye Gel. This is another one of my products I love. I put this in my skincare fridge and I just take the tiniest bit and I put it on my under eyes. And this product, especially refrigerated, helps wake me up so much, helps make my eyes not super puffy, very hydrated. It's also a really good primer for my under eye concealer. It doesn't crease up as much, so I am done with that. And then I'm gonna go in with a pretty basic moisturizer. This one, it's comparable to the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, but it's like the Equate, like generic lotion. Very gentle on the face and on the skin, so I just put a little bit on that and then on my neck because I put a little too much on. And that is my skincare routine, so I'm just going to let all of the products soak on my face for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the makeup. My makeup is pretty natural as it is and I don't think there's like a go-to that girl makeup routine. I'm assuming it's pretty natural. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm gonna straighten my hair, put on a cute outfit and I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with all of that. So I just finished getting ready for my day. It is actually a really warm day today so I am wearing some shorts and a tank top and a little zip up. I was trying to go with the that girl vibe. The oversized sweatshirt, the crop tank, and the biker shorts, but I'm kind of feeling the denim today, so this is my little outfit of the day. But first, I have some morning work to do. Something I really like to do before I start my work is tidy up my room. So since I already made my bed, I have some clothes to put away, and then I have this little vanity space to like tidy up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get some morning work done. So let's talk about productivity because I feel like this is a whole other 
niche to even cover so I definitely want to be doing more productivity videos on my channel because honestly I am such a notion nerd I am just learning more about notion every single day I use that app to um, basically plan my entire day and my entire life so I have my to-do list hour by hour daily schedules mood boards all of the things so if you guys want a notion tour um, leave a comment down below and I definitely will be doing more notion videos and productivity videos in the future as well as sectioning off my work for the day so because I work from home and I do a bunch of different things I set certain work for the morning that is just basically more of uh, less time consuming more chill work so for me it's like scheduling social media posts um, and some very like computer work and then I push the afternoon um, all of my editing all my calls and all that because I am honestly not down to have an early morning call so I'd rather just push it off to the afternoon so just giving yourself if you have the opportunity um, to do more chill work in the morning and then go in the afternoon and do more of the tougher work also another thing that I did not mention in my work from home video was about giving yourself breaks and I feel like that was like the the golden tip the number one tip of it all from working from home is giving yourself breaks even have lunch outside is super nice as well as hydration um, I notice when I drink a ton of water I just feel more productive and I feel more refreshed to get more work done kind of weird I know but it works <laughs> but with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up um, leave a comment below if you want more productivity videos that girl videos I feel like I covered more about the morning routine because for me when I see it on social media that's kind of what inspires me the most and that's what's impacted my overall lifestyle the most is making my morning routine um, more efficient don't forget to subscribe because I post a video every Every single Friday at noon Pacific. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!